Well, here we are, everybody. Week 8 of 18 in the NFL season. And I gotta tell you, we got we finally, after last week's debacle, I gotta tell you, things are looking a little bit better. Things are looking a little bit nicer around here. And first up, we got the Packers taking on the undefeated Cardinals. Now, the Packers are dealing with COVID issues. In fact, Alan Lazard and Devontae Adams are both out with COVID IR placements. So what is Aaron Rodgers going to have to do against J.J. Watt and these cards? I have no idea. Um, cards have been pretty legit so far. I mean, you know, dominated the Rams earlier in the season. I mean, they've, been, they've just been cooking up W's throughout the entire season. This will be one of the toughest tests for this Cardinals team this year. I gotta tell you, I'm excited for this game on Thursday night. Rare Thursday night game that's actually good. I know, I know, right? Um, this one's gonna be a doozy. I, I think that there's a lot hinging on this game, you know, with the way things have been going in the NFC. Again, it's not as top heavy as it's been in the past few years. It's still pretty top. You know, rather it's it's not as loaded. I mean, I'm not not as loaded. It's definitely more top heavy. I meant not as you know loaded. Like the whole conference is just loaded with good teams. No, everybody. Uh, there's a lot of mediocre teams in the NFC this year. And um, yeah, it, 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 this one, this one right here, definitely circle this one and get on with it. On the Panthers Falcons. Now the Panthers are a team that have just they've just been on a downward spiral since CMC went out, you know, a couple weeks back. I mean, I don't know where this team is at right now. Like I don't know where they're at mentally. I don't know where they're at physically either. You know, the Falcons, they just got a victory against the Dolphins. I mean this is the same Falcons team that has just looked awful as, you know, also they, they blown leads and stuff every time. Um, and, you know, I mean, they, 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 they continue to be the Atlanta Falcons. So, we'll see what the Falcons and the Panthers can do. I'm not going to look at this game in all honesty. You know, I mean, come on. Dolphins and Bills, definitely not going to be looking at this. I mean, you've seen the way the, the Bills are going to be. They're going to be angry after the way, you know, the Tennessee Titans beat them up, or rather beat them on a fourth down stop, you know, a couple weeks back. So they're going to look up to beat up on the Dolphins while two is still being dangled as trade bait. I, I get it. Some people are going to blame Tua, but no, the rest of this offense and the rest of this defense full of Miami Dolphins has just not been there. I get it. There are injuries on defense as well, but come on. You're an NFL roster. You have all the talent in the world. What's going on out there? Dolphins look. Dolphins were looking like a playoff team, you know. You know, one week and now they've completely just they've missed the mark so bad, so bad. Titans and Colts is going to be an interesting AFC South battle there. Uh, a little, I uh, you know some people on the Colts, you know, are going to be a little bit, you know, they're going to be a little bit excited, you know, with the way Carson Wentz has been. You know, the way he played, you know, against the 49ers. I mean, he didn't play well. I mean, come on. I mean, that game was ugly. And the Titans have been riding high off the momentum that they've had beating the Bills and then beating up on the Chiefs. I mean, look at the assert dominance in the AFC South. I mean, they can do that with this win. Bengals, Jets, there's really nothing to talk about here because it's the Jets. Like, Zach Wilson's now out. I believe Joe Flacco is the guy, if I'm not mistaken. And the Bengals are just looking to continue to win games. They're looking to continue to win big games here. Steelers-Browns is going to be an interesting one, though. Um, we'll see how the Steelers team has rebounded. You know, they uh, they had a bye last week. We're going to see what Big Ben and company can do. Have they fixed the O-line? Probably not. Have they fixed the defense? Probably not. Browns, they're also a team that has just looked. They've looked pretty good this year. Um... Not sure if Baker Mayfield is back yet or not. Uh, I do believe Nick Chubb is back, though. Chubb is indeed back. And, and it seems that Baker Mayfield will also be back. But Jarvis Landry got injured again, though. Uh, and I have no I have no idea how how, how, this, how the Steelers team is going to you know, do. I mean, this the Steelers team will... They, they, they looked... They've looked awful at times this year. They've looked really bad. There's no denying it. There's no denying it. 
Eagles Lions is going to be an interesting one. We'll see what Jared Goff and the Lions can do against a struggling Eagles team. Can the Lions finally get a victory? Maybe so. The way the Eagles have been playing, you know, I mean, I mean, they got basically blown out. You know, there was a couple of garbage time touchdowns at the end against the Raiders last week, and I mean, the Eagles have just looked bad on defense. A lot of people are gonna again are gonna point to Jalen Hurts. I mean, the, the play calling has not been there. I mean, I mean, things have just not been there for the Eagles this year. They, 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 I mean, both these teams got to do better. Both these teams got to do better. Same thing with the Texans, but I don't think they're going to be able to beat the Rams. I don't know why. If you check the 506 Sports Mass, why is the entire state of Texas getting this game? I don't want to watch this. Like, if I, if I had a TV and, you know, I turn on my local Fox channel and I see the Texans on my TV screen, I'm going to want to turn that off. Turn it off, man. I don't want to watch the Texans. Texas are that bad. They're pretty rough to watch. 49ers Bears is also going to be a rough one to watch again. Most of the country, you know, in that early window is going to be seeing the 49ers and the Bears for some reason. I don't know why. Because, I mean, this is a tale of two teams that are also just on slippery slopes and are falling, falling hard. Especially at the quarterback position. You know, both these teams do have some pretty good defenses, though. But quarterback position, just Fields, Jimmy G, the speculation still with Trey Lance. I mean, I, I just don't know. I just don't know, man. This one's gonna be this one's gonna be rough. Patriots charges also gonna be a little bit rough as we move into the three o'clock games here. Um, yeah, I mean the Patriots they they've rebounded a little bit. They've showed flashes of being a good team this year. Charges, you know, they still got still got Herbert, I and mean, it's gonna be an interesting duel out there out west. Um, same thing with the Jags and the Seahawks. Now, Geno Smith has been thrust into this role. We'll see how much longer Russell Wilson is out. I'm not sure how much longer he's out. Jags have a victory on the season. I know a lot of people are going to pick the Seahawks to win this game. Um, I think this one will be close. I, I really do. I really do. Buck Saints is the is the big 325, 425 Eastern game. And the Saints are just not that good on defense at times. Like, DK Metcalf was just bullying Marcus Lattimore, you know, last week, you know, on Monday night. I mean I mean this Bucks team has had some defensive problems as well. And, you know, that's mostly due to injuries. But, I mean, the Bucks are right high. They got a lot of momentum going. Again, they still have a lot of momentum going. They could be they could be cruising, you know, right now. I mean, the Saints, I mean, I don't know how they're forward to. I really don't. Like, maybe it's, maybe it's the way these games have gone for the Saints. But, I mean, I just don't know. It, I mean, you still got Alba Kamara in the backfield doing his thing. But the question is Javis Winston still. Like, I, I, I don't know what Javis Winston is. I really don't. Like that that game Monday night, it was rough. It was rough for him. You know, there, there have been some rough games for him so far this year, aside from the Packers beat down. You know, it's just been a rough season. It's just been a rough season so far. Like I, I don't know how the Saints are forward to, but here they are. They're gonna they're probably they may be four and three by the end of the day, but I mean hey, it's still be over five hundred. Meanwhile, Washington takes on the Broncos. Now this one's gonna be interesting again. Division rivals, you know. Yeah, but we'll talk about the, the boys in a minute, but Washington is an interesting team to talk about because they do not have a quarterback, you know, that can do things well. In Taylor Heineke, same thing with the Broncos. They don't have a quarterback that can do things well in Teddy Bridgewater. But, I mean, there's other guys on the Broncos, you know, like Noah Fant or uh, Melvin Gordon, you know, for Washington. Of course, you know, Chase Young, I mean, going to be an interesting defensive battle there, you know, Chase Young, you know, going up against Teddy Bridgewater. I don't know what Washington's been doing with him at times, because it seems like, uh, it seems like it's, it's, the system hasn't, the system that Washington's running, I've only watched a little bits and pieces of Washington's games, I think I watched one Washington game, if I'm not mistaken, I think, you know, the system that they're using now, I'm not sure what it is, I do do that in oh to go in depth about it watching the game on Sunday but I mean the things have just not been 
things have not been going well. I mean, a lot of people were talking about Washington's defense at the beginning of the season. You know, that this defense was going to carry Washington to an NFC East championship, repeat champions. You know, and that's definitely not happening now. I, I don't know what Washington is. I really don't. This is a weird. This is a weird team. Same with the Broncos. Very weird team. You know, they started out three and zero, but I mean, it was it's not so great competition. You know, not so great teams. You know, pretty mediocre, pretty bad teams. You know. So we'll see what the narratives do for this game because I mean, if Washington's looking for a win. The Broncos are looking to get back to five hundred. And we move on to Sunday night, biggest game of the weekend. Honestly, you know, you got Kirk Cousins and those Vikings, those improving Minnesota Vikings. I mean, they they've really picked it up. Like they found they found things that are working for them. You know, I mean, they got they got a bevy of backs. They got they they they, they just do what they do best, which is win games. You know, they they've been doing what they've been doing best, which is winning games. Kirk Cousins hasn't been blowing it. I mean, things have been going well for this Vikings team. I mean, again, they are three and three, but I mean, it, it doesn't matter. The Cowboys are still riding high off of a lot of good momentum. But again, with this offense, you know, you got Dak, you got Zeke, you got Pollard. I mean, every everything everything is just working out for the Moas. I mean, you know. I'm not sure if Gallup is still injured or not, if I'm not mistaken, but I think he might, if I'm not mistaken. I I, I do I do know that um, I, I do know that there's like a um, calf injury for Dak. You know, I'm looking at it right now. There is a calf injury, um, so I don't, I don't know I don't know how that's going to affect Dak Prescott in this game with the Vikings. I mean, the Cowboys are going to be on the road. You know, I thought initially, you know, I thought initially that this game was probably not going to be as interesting as it was. I mean, again, the Cowboys and the Vikings have been riding on a lot of momentum lately. Just a lot of good momentum. Giants and Chiefs. It's been a rough season for the Chiefs so far. Like, I, I don't understand. What's wrong with this team? Like, you got, like, like, this defense is rough. This offense has been not good this year. Patrick Mahomes, some of these interceptions haven't been his fault, but there have been a lot of bad interceptions for Kermit the Frog, Patrick Mahomes, this year. I mean, and the Giants, I mean, they got a big victory against the Panthers. I mean, they're trying to they're trying to look for something. I mean, I don't know where the Giants came from with that performance last week against the Panthers. Can they keep that up? Uh, I mean, I, I, I don't know. Like, I don't even know. You know, with the Giants. I mean, this one's going to be interesting. Not, again, not something I'm going to be looking at particularly, but that's the way we do Halloween weekend going into November out here. It's starting to get a little bit cooler outside. It's starting to get a little bit frosty. And some teams are freezing up. Some teams are getting hot. And the NFL continues to amaze me. With the way things have been this year, I don't know how this Sunday is going to work out. In all honesty, I'm just speculating. I'm just doing my thoughts here on some things, some general thoughts. And I have no idea how these games are going to go this week, as usual. So let's have a good time, everybody. Let's have a good time as we head in to, you know, the last week of or, uh, the Halloween weekend, that Halloween Sunday night. And then, you know, we move on into November. Oh boy, it's going to be a good one. It's going to be a good week of NFL football, I can guarantee you that. I can't wait. Let's do this, guys. I'll see you guys very, very soon for more content. And you already know what to do. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Click the notification bell. Do all that good stuff. Buy my book. It's been linked in the description of several videos. And just keep, just keep engaging, you know. It's always good for the brand. Big Boy Sports, signing out. See you soon.